can't prove glow, but they haven't realised it yet. And they still bully people on the internet into thinking that they can. You can't prove globe. It's not a globe. So all they can do is take the effects that we see in day to day life and hijack them and attribute them to globe. Well, you know, we see things getting smaller with distance. Something that's entirely ignored when your calculator is applied and the only cause is only ever going to be Earth curve. Well, if anybody ever tells you if you're in the audience and a flat earther that that curve calculator that assumes its outcome is somehow proof of something just ask them do things get smaller with distance and when they say yes at a great enough distance will they disappear yes where's that included in the calculator oh actual see, size only i'm sorry so i was just going to add it's actual size only so the mountain that's three thousand feet it's 3,000 feet if you're standing next to it. It's 3,000 feet if it's 30 miles. It's 3,000 feet if it's 300 miles. And, oh, what's that you say? If we're on a flat plane, we should see it. Well, that would be ignoring the fact that it's too small to see now, wouldn't it? Like your calculator does. Because that's actually what we're seeing. Things getting smaller with distance. Linear perspective, not exponential curvature. When put into a side profile, when removing all aspects of angular size. That's just bollocks. That's just the way you've all been tricked. You being the globe head muppets that think they live on a sphere and have absolutely no evidence to back it other than linear perspective. That's it. And I was going to add that that's why they need a model because reality won't help them. Yeah, they need to reify the sphere first so that you automatically are standing on that sphere. The curve calculator begs the question. It automatically has you on the sphere. Correct, i.e. they need a model so they can reify the model into existence because reality isn't a sphere. The reality of the Earth we dwell atop is flat. Hello again, Zinder. Hey. Um. I, I just looked up um, MetaBank's Earth Curve Calculator, and here they have a ha, they have a thread about um, pure angular tides results. Um, they don't they don't include it in the um, original uh, calculator. Like the, the I think the first one that came out didn't include it. But they have like here pure angular size results, and then they have uh, an explanation to it. Yeah, so they do... do think about angular size. No, they don't. We just covered this with Rumpus. If that was the case, and this was an addition of perspective where it wasn't included previously, then that would make all of Rumpus's calculations incorrect. However, they are identical mathematics using actual size and not angular size for the processing of the assertion that the only cause of things disappearing in the distance is earth curve. They are still geometric mathematics, identical to what has been used previously. The addition after the mathematics have been done of an angular translation does not mean that they are working out the mathematics based on the angular size resolution, because if they were, they wouldn't continually and only assert the earth curve is the single cause of things disappearing in the distance because if they were including angular size then somewhere in the calculation it would say that this item is simply too small to see as opposed to the only assertion of cause of things disappearing being earth curve zinder yeah they they don't include angular size in terms of things dropping quote below the horizon but they things don't um, drop below the horizon here. Things don't drop below the horizon. That's the assertion that the Earth curve calculator makes when they yeah, assert sure. that things drop below and only drop below the horizon because the Earth is curving. That's the sure, only sure, sure. assertion the calculator makes, Cinder. So, I'm, yeah. Yeah. So? Well, things can disappear with distance, though, can't they, Cinder? Sure, they can. Yeah. Um, that, well, the, that's the not title. there in the calculator, so it's not accounted for, is it? Not accounted for, Zinder. Well, they show you how to calculate things um, disappearing because of angular size. They show oh. you in the calculator. Oh, but and, then they they don't... and then they apply it. So no, making... they don't. 
oh, so they show you how to do it and then ignore it. That's yes. useful. So they tell you that things disappear in the distance and still assert. Wow, they're really pissing in your face in that calculator, aren't they, Zinder? They must think you're really stupid when they make that calculator think, for you. I think oh, the don't. only reason the only reason they it's there now is because of this show and because of Nathan. That's the only reason. If, if you weren't bringing that up, that 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 would not be there. There's, there would, but why would it, why would they tell you about the angular size of something and then not apply it, Cinder? What's the point in that? They could tell you how to make chicken McNuggets next to that calculator and then completely ignore that. It'd just be irrelevant nonsense, wouldn't it? For, for the same reason why when I stand on a bathroom scale, it doesn't show me the temperature of the room. Sorry, we're looking at pictures. We're not weighing this picture of a sunset, are we? Are we weighing this picture, Zinder? Or is this a false equivalence? Can you repeat? Uh, are we weighing picture? this picture of a sunset? Or are we comparing it to perspective exclusive geometry mathematics that only assert one cause? Or are we weighing it on a bathroom scale, Zinder? Oh, we are looking at two different reasons why things disappear. And this one shows you one of them. Two different reasons. No, no, no. Yeah. No, no. Things definitely disappear for the first reason. Things, you've conceded this on the last show. Things definitely disappear when they become too small to see in the distance, don't they? That's an absolute certainty, isn't it, Cinder? Yeah, that's a fact. Fact. Depending it's ignored in the calculator. Eyesight, so when they tell you why things disappear in the distance, they ignore that. Perspective's ignored. And when things disappear in the distance, it's claimed the Earth curve causes it. Well, one of those things is a fact. The other one, Zinder, is people like Mick West pissing in your face. They're laughing at you, Zinder. They're laughing at how stupid you are. Yeah, um, when I when I use the Earth curve, Earth curve calculator, I and I'm sitting inside a room or I'm, I'm inside a building and I look at the wall and then I think like, huh. Why can't I see the mountain that should be behind the wall? Hmm, that might be because a wall is in front of me. But the Earth Curve Calculator doesn't tell me that the wall is in front of me. So the Earth Curve Calculator has to be wrong, right? No, we're not talking about something that's in front of us. See this picture in front of us? That's not a brick wall at three inches. That's a piece of land at 34 miles. It's in the distance, yeah? So when we talk about stuff in the distance, Cinder... You concede that things can disappear into the distance if they're too small. Well, that's ignored, but we'll absolutely compare these pictures and have to a calculator that doesn't account for that. And it's even worse. It seems like the people who peddle this nonsense to you have even put next to the calculator an angular size calculator from what you're telling me. So they really rub your face in it. I bet they laugh their heads off when people use that calculator. Here, yeah, look. Here's the real reason things can disappear in the distance. It's not used in the calculator. No, no, no. We'll just tell you it's Earth Curve. 10,000 miles away? Yeah, Earth Curve's the reason you can't see it. What's that you say? Too small to see? No, 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 no. Just Earth Curve. The only cause of things disappearing in the distance is Earth Curve. That's what the calculator says, Cinder. Sure, so... Um, angular size obviously makes things disappear if I don't have a big enough aperture, if I don't have, like, an aperture the size of uh, the planet itself, for example. So, obviously, when something disappears, there, as we discussed, there are two reasons and what you still don't seem to understand is that one of the reason is angular size the other one is that something in is in the way the earth, cal earth curve calculator tells you when you are standing on a large body of water when the water will be in your way on a globe earth that's the only thing it does it yes, doesn't I tell know. you about angular yes. size so what's it the problem only says something obstructing the view and that would be earth curve well what's it obstructing the view of could it be obstructing the view of something that's too small to see or will it, it only be asserted that earth curve is the reason we can't see that thing behind your claimed obstruction something ten thousand miles behind your claimed obstruction 
isn't being obscured by earth curve, just too small to see. But the calculator will still claim that it's just earth curve that's causing that cinder. Right? So yeah, no, it... your calculator focuses on one cause. The thing in the near distance they claim is there but is not that reifies your religious faith in a sphere earth. The earth curve obstruction's the only cause. Well, the target, the thing that's actually getting too small to see, that's not accounted for. The fact that it's too far away and too small. It's only the earth curve, isn't it, Zinder? That thing they need to peddle to you, the bonehead, the thicko, that they're trying to convince with lies. So, in other words, they, they tell you if you had um, infinite uh, good and infinite vision, how far could you see over a large body of water? That's pretty oh, much if, what if, they if it was want flat, to tell you. That's it. Uh, According to the mathematics applied in the calculation, geometric only, perspective exclusive, according to those stupid maths, they would assert that we could see New York from Wales. Well, you can't, Zinder. It's way too small of an angle to see New York from Wales. But the calculator, which excludes perspective, would make that assertion come to life when other retards say, why can't we see New York from England? Wales. <laughs> and we say, because it's too small to see. But when you put that into an earth curve calculator, guess what they say the cause is, Zinder? There's only one. Guess what it is? Earth curve! Sure, but you didn't address my point at all. You just went with your script Infinite. again. Infinite. Forever. Your mathematics imply that stuff never gets too small to see, Zinder. No, the it only doesn't. reason it disappears is because Earth gets in the way. So according to your maths, stuff doesn't ever get too small to see. Doesn't matter how far it is. The only cause of things disappearing in the distance is Earth curve, according to the calculator. Even though you know, and I know, and you said it earlier... There's two causes of things disappearing in the distance. Well, guess what? The calculator says there's only one cause, Zinder. Earth curve. No things disappear into the distance, Zinder. You can see forever, according to your mathematics. There's no angular resolution limit, only earth curve obstruction. Because what they've done is taken the fact that things disappear in the distance, because they become too small with distance, and claim that that effect... Is Earth curve getting in the way? The single only cause the calculator claims. Sure, I mean, if if you if you had a big if you had a big enough aperture, you could see theoretically infinite. No, you could because couldn't. no the, wrong. Every aperture wrong? has a diffraction limit calculable in the Rayleigh criterion. Again, I said this on the last show. How difficult it would be to account for all of the different apertures you declared, again, like the retard you are, until I pointed out there is a calculation they could apply called the Rayleigh Criterion, and it was made clear by Bob, the fallacy guy. It's not included. So this very real calculation that accounts for the diffraction limit based on the aperture is also ignored, Zinder. Guess what so they blame it on? So if we did the calculation and the Rayleigh criteria and said it's too far to see, it's too small, the hammer can't resolve it. You know what the Earth Curve calculator would say? Ding, ding, ding! No, no, no. It's actually Earth Curve. So if, if I see... If a fly... Um, if I look at the fly, it flies away. It gets too small to see, right? No, um, Earth Curve gets then, in the way. Are then, you listening? Listen again. It's only ever one cause of things disappearing into the distance. So unless you concede that that fly has gone from your view because Earth's got in the way, you're making my point for me. Yeah, the fly does disappear because of angular size, but when you put that into the calculator, that's not what it tells you. It tells you Earth Curve got in the way. So there might be both 
reasons acting on something disappearing. Uh, oh, and they're both outside. included. Because and they're both included, right? They're both in the calculator then, Zinder. There's more than one cause. No! You're not listening, are you? When you say there's both, there's only one cause if you're a fundy zealot globehead. There's only Earth curve to blame, Zinder. Don't you get it yet? There's only one cause in the Earth curve maths. Earth curve! Not angular size, not perspective, not aperture-based mathematics for the Rayleigh criterion. Only Earth curve, the single cause it asserts. One, not two. So if you're saying there's two, why the fuck isn't it in the calculator?